supremacy. And these two Here we go, baby. National championship game. Make, trying to look to make it a three P Mississippi State. We are leaving Mississippi State after this game, too, to go to our favorite team, Alabama. It's a 20-30 national championship. Mississippi State versus Nebraska Cornhuskers. We're 15-0. and They're 14-2. and We're number one. They're number six. Let's lock this in. Let's go. I hope y'all having a blessed day. Thank y'all for all the love and support. Y'all share this channel. We're about to get it, man. Come on. The kickoff team is out there, and you can feel the energy. One game to determine the national championship. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. So Mississippi State's offense drops out there to open this game. Let's talk to our freshman quarterback. Trying to convince him to hit that transfer portal. I would love my freshmen. We have a lot of freshmen here, man. We rebuilt Mississippi State. I just, I don't think I have anything else to prove here, man. So I'm trying to move it on to the next team. And Alabama is the very first time since me and Chase started this dynasty the Alabama job came all, uh, up. So I, I couldn't pass it, honestly. I wanted to stay here at Mississippi State and build a dynasty. I feel like I already have. And I can't pass up my favorite team, really and truly. That's what it came down to is I could not pass up the Alabama job coaching offer. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Nice throw caught for a completion. And the play is good enough for a first down to move the ball to 44. A new set of downs after that completion. Quarterback's got it on the option. He'll toss it to the back. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. We're moving the ball pretty nicely on them right now. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Quarterback takes off now looking to scramble. Scrambles out of bounds to avoid contact. He's going to be short of the mark. Second down play coming up. Quarterback drops back, looking to set up a screen pass here. They bring him down, but not before he gains first Let's choose on this clock. I love only in a game like this where you get the running back involved. They have three star D linemen running the ball to be interesting on them. Quarterback settled into the game. Nice easy throw. And look at this. It ends up being a huge play. Come on. Now it's second down here. Let's go, Victorians in. Here's the handoff. Wow. And our left tackle gets blown up literally into our face. My gosh, this offensive line's gotta do a better job of blocking. Literally got blown up so bad that he Lee was in our face. Let's go. Short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Well, heck, if they hadn't dug themselves such a big hole, what a positive play here. Using that jet motion and that touch pass to pick up some huge yards and giving them a chance anyway of trying to come up with a first down. Listen some of the clock, Mel. The option play. We pitch it. Oh, the one-yard line. This is what the offensive coordinator told us yesterday, Chris, in our production meeting. They thought they had an advantage up front with the line of script. Let's go. QB sneak when we get in. We start off the scoring in the national championship. Three minutes and 55 seconds off the clock, too. We control the clock like we try to do every game. You force their hands to make them make bad passes and bad plays. That to me is my best way to be most consistent. And if I had to tell you to do anything, control the game clock and you can dominate games that way because you force their hands to make bad passes and throws and stuff, which is, in my opinion, the best way to win the game when you make your opponent make bad plays. The handoff. Oh my goodness, we had him five yards in the backfield. He stiff arms us off. 
and gets a first down. Another first down. The Nebraska faithful love to see the ball in his hands, just like they love to see the backs over the years. Think about T.O., Tom Osborne, when he had the backs going, Mike Rozier, Lawrence Phillips, and Amon Green, Roger Craig going way back. More recently, Amir Abdullah, Rex Burkett. Boy, oh boy, they've had some fun backs to watch. They give it to the receiver in a jet sweep. That's a nice Come on. tackle there by the senior. Discipline, discipline, discipline. That's the key to this defense Come on, boys. Right now. Great job against the jet sweep of staying out wide and not giving that receiver much room at all. It's a deep throw There's two of us on that. Let's go. We swatted away. I wanted the pick, but we swatted away at least. We had two DBs on that wide receiver. Let's go. We about had the block. And it's taken at the 25. We about had our first blocked punt right there. I got excited for a second. One final play before the end of the quarter. We'll try the ground game here with the running back. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no gain. So it's Mississippi. And the first quarter up 7 nothing. We had the ball, one possession, and score a touchdown. They had the ball, one possession, and we stopped them. Let's go. Well, they flipped into the field. We're set for the second quarter, and the national championship trophy is in the building. Offense getting set. It's second down. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. It's incomplete. He took a hit as he threw the football, and it brings up a third down. Kind of a fine line here, Chris, for me when it comes to throwing a screen pass. You don't want to throw it too early, obviously, and the defense reacts quickly and can sniff it out. And you definitely don't Let's go. Our tight end comes down with the ball. Got to make sure it hits just right for this play to work. Mississippi State getting set for the first and ten now. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. I wonder if their D linemen are hurt. Them three star D linemen that we saw earlier in that one formation. I wonder if they're hurt. Because we haven't really saw them this game. Receivers now getting some new assignments before the snap. Back in motion now. They look to throw it here on second down. Please nice throw it away. Goodness, goodness gracious, you took forever to respond. Didn't see anybody open, just throws it away. That's not going to bring out the third down. They come to the line. Come on. Long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the football. Glad that was a D lineman. The quarterback did all he could here to wait until the last possible moment, but he waits just a hair too long, which allows the defense to actually hit him as he throws the ball. Looking for his big tight end. Finds his receiver. That's enough for the Let's first go. Down. What a hurdle. What a hurdle. Chris, here on fourth down, I thought they might be a little bit more conservative, but give them credit. They take a shot downfield and hit it for the first down and much, much more. Finding enough space for a solid game for this topic. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams through this offense. Second and goal. Yards didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done. Planted a seat. And another QB sneak for a touchdown. Simple play. They rely on the quarterback to sneak it across the goal line. Yep, the big boys up front helped quite a bit with the quarterback up front. Gave him a nice push. Works for a touchdown. With the PAT, they take a 14-0 lead. 14-0. And the national championship. championship. This one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Makes it with a 16. That's good coverage there. We kind of forced their hand to have to throw the ball, too. They get ball before half. I would love a pick and go score again. Or they run the ball down 14. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, help with just the two yards. Chris, to me, two minute warning. Come on. Let's go, defense. Lock it in, boys. Let's go. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Quarterback looking to scramble. He broke two tackles on D-Lyman. They get to the line of scrimmage. 
Okay. No shot. Okay. They gave him that first down, bro. Whatever. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Come on. I'm not losing this game, bro. Let's go. Let's go. as a returner after that touchdown. Attack on the BAT and it's 21 nothing. Pickup team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Return starts from inside the five. They've been tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Who about to force our hand to keep throwing it? This has been a rough first half. They'll have to regroup in intermission, but in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. And he's gonna float this one to the right side. Let's go, Krause. Way to swat it down. Way to swat it away and play defense right there. Let's go. Championship, the timing between the quarterback and his receivers, but they have not been able to get anything going at all here in the first half. Let's go. User pick. User pick. I switched to him and jumped the out route. Two pick sixes back to back drives on defense. Well, let's start with the interception. I just love the fact that he got his eyes turned around, found the football, and then has the athletic ability to be able to secure it. Then he goes back to high school running back days and shows him what he can do with the ball in his hands and takes it all the way back. Come on, boys. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you can force somebody to throw the ball, you can win games. All you got to do is guard it. On Heisman, sometimes they will burn you and get crazy plays. But a lot of times, if you know how to read it, you can get good plays on defense. He's moving out of the pocket. He's going to pull it down and run. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Running through the tackle. And he's breaking All deep. Flamin's tackles again. First down comes up short. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Let's go. We get pressure on the quarterback, and he has to throw it away. No shot. The CPU roughs the punter. We get the ball back, bro. Back, like, trying to score again before half. And our CPU roughs the kicker and gives him a first down. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. The offense will keep Come on, defense. That special teams penalty. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Hmm. Short pass finds the tight end. And he heads out of bounds. I was going to let him catch that underneath. I was going to go with the guy behind me. And he throws it once I switch. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. And the pass ball is incomplete. That's everything you want to see from an offense. Great execution. The line gave the quarterback time. Quarterback makes a great read, throws it to his guy, and the receiver drops it. Now he's going to have to shake that off and get ready to make that next play. Oh, Krause, pick it off, bro. It's hitting you in the legs. We're getting the ball back again, though. Another three and out. Come on, offense. I want to score again. It'd be a surprise if they took a risk here with the final seconds of the first half backed up near their own end zone. He eludes the rush. He's moving out of the pocket. 
And he'll rifle this one deep to the right side. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first to the half. The offense comes back out there. Not much time left. Perhaps just time for a couple plays before the half. Fires it to the wide out. And it's complete downfield. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. He can't make it 51. Our kicker can't make a 41. Let's go for it. First down, we're going to throw the ball. Oh, we dropped it, bro. I was telling him to secure catch it. I wanted him to secure catch that fall, and I was going to call a timeout and kick a field goal, but he drops the freaking slant. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. And he's going to fling it deep. We get a touchdown anyways. We get a touchdown instead of the field goal, so. Mississippi State. That's playing to the echo of the whistle here in this first half. They just keep pouring it on. Why not just continue? Even with two clock on, bro, we put up 35 on Nebraska before half. This second half, I'm probably just going to run the ball and leave fall if I get a first down. This is ridiculous, man. We had more of a challenge last game against Ohio. We expect in a game of this magnitude, everything on the line, the eyes of the sports world on this battle with the coveted gold trophy at stake. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game. Looks like we're safe to say we got our three peat. Looks safe to say that we have our three peat. Let's send it back to Chris and Kirk Fellas. Hard to believe we're only one half away from crowning a national champion. Three national championships in a row with Mississippi State. I think it's safe to say that. Two quarters left, we're up 35. They haven't been able to stop us on offense either, so. They're running the ball down 35. That's wild. Handoff running right. Solid run. They'll bring it back at the 28 yard line. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance at a really nice game. Oh, he just gets it by like a yard. What? What? And the Huskers will line up oh, okay. first and ten. They're going to run it here. The gain is three yards. Brings up a second down and seven. I wish they had you clock on. And the tailback's got it again. They've got him down out near the 40. But I feel like they called that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. Come on. Look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Let's go. Now we'll see if they can convert. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. The Cornhuskers will bring their punt team onto the field. Fields it at the 15. Return of one down. Sets up the next drive. And here comes the Mississippi State offense back out on the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? Powers through. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I'd love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Oh, here comes the reverse. Looks like Mississippi State will have the first down. Chris, that's a play where they're designed to try to trick the defense. Now, they didn't gain a huge chunk of yards, but the good news is they did pick up a first down. They're going to run the option. Oh, and it's fumbled. The lateral goes wrong. They scoop up the ball. It's still a live play here. Well, it's a good job by the defense to force the Come on, now. But I have to have the collective awareness for someone to get on top of that. It's a lucky break for the offense. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. 
He's swarmed by the defense. Empty set now. Five wide. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. He pulls it in for a big game. Tackle made after a big game. Well, this quarterback puts it to the big man once again. And I tell you, the matchup with this tight end against this secondary, you know, if they put a corner on him, he's too small. If they put a safety on him, he's too slow. They've been able to find those one-on-one -on -one matchups and allow this tight end to have a monster game in the national title. There's the handoff. He's tackled just short of the midfield line at the 49. Second down after that. We'll let that go to the fourth quarter. So it's Mississippi State on top so far. And in this battle for the national championship, it has been a beat down so far. Not what you hope for. Let's review how we got here. One quarter away from crowning a national champion in this college football season. Let's go stretch. Here we go. First play of the quarter. Offense setting up for a second down play. They'll test the right side here. And the sophomore able to bring him down quickly. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. We'll try to run it with the option. Pitch play to the back. Mm. And the defense is there to smother him. They were all over Come on, boys. We got to block that. How about that, Chris? They run the football here on third down. We got to block Almost that. Up the first down. What it does, though, is gives them a much better chance if they decide to go for this of picking up that first down. Throws a bullet to the right. Let's go. What a play call. What a play call. First down yardage. The drive keeps going. Mississippi State now operating in the red zone. And of course, they'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. And a decent gain there before the defense brings him down. Well, how fitting for him to get another nice carry here because it's been that kind of game. So there's their three star D lineman. I guess this is when I go big package. I didn't think he would have this. That's wild that they don't start them. That or they just been hurting this whole game and just came in. They're going to win this national. Yeah, they're, they're in now. Can he keep the drive going or will have to settle for three? Just go. Oh, I didn't mean to step out of bounds, so. You know, with the lead in the national championship. I didn't want to step out of bounds, though. I press square to fall and he goes out of bounds. Run the ball, keep the clock moving. I love touchdown, Bulldogs. Stretching the lead. I mean, I don't know what to say, bro. This is wild. This is wild. Extra point, not right down the middle. This kickoff team, let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And here's the return from inside the five. Come on, defense. We melted the whole third quarter. And basically most of the fourth. So first play of the drive that come out throwing. Oh, pick it off, Arval. Don't let him catch the out route. We've picked those off twice for pick sixes. Why can't we pick that one off? Huh? Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Quick throw. Catch made on the out route. Heads out of bounds and a short gain on the play. Second down after that previous play. From the gun, he looks for an open man. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defense. Come on. Pressure. And now it brings up third down. See if the offense can move the chains off that incompletion. Out of the gun now on third down. Pick it off, Arable. It's Daniel. Not much after. It's right over your head, man. The Cornhuskers come to the line. 
set a fresh set of downs. Play action here on first down. And there's a deep throw with the clock winding down. Oh. We swatted away from it at least. I wanted the pick, though. Dang. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. And with nobody open, he chooses to just throw it away. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long 42-0. We win three back-to-back -back national championships. And he'll drop back here on third down. And we leave Mississippi State Final minutes here, throw it with our first three national championships and with very good recruits, very good team. And we go on to Alabama. They were 6-6 six and six this year. We beat Alabama every year. We've been at Mississippi State, too. So it'll be an interesting game because we go, I think, to Mississippi State my first year with Alabama. So... We'll see how that goes. Bringing pressure. Able to throw it away. He felt the heavy pressure. Took a hit. But got rid of the football. After the incompletion, they'll face a third Come on. and six. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. There we go. Wow, a third pick tonight by the QB. And that's a solid return after the interception. Oh, man, Chris. I thought this offense had a chance to get back into this game. The only thing you hate to see is the interception. But give credit to the defense. They come up with a They thought they had a chance to get back in this game. Us up 42 nothing. That's wild. Pitches to the back. He goes out of Let's go. 42 nothing victory. Three P national champions. Well, sometimes a team wins a national championship and they just got hot at the right time. And there's other times when it's been clearly the best team in college football all year. To me, these guys have Let's go. As a top team Let's in go. Three P to leave Alabama. We leave Mississippi State to go to Alabama after a three P at Mississippi State. Let's go. It would be insane if we could move to Alabama and win the national championship and make it four in a row as a coach. Three national championships in a row for Mississippi State Bulldogs. That's how you do it, boys. We rebuild the team and the SEC that's never had a national championship or an SEC championship. And look at them right now. They on stage celebrating three national championships in a row. Hey. I did my job here at Mississippi State. And with that being said, man, I hope you all have a blessed day. Make sure that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in the next episode.